benefits that's being put on by the Pirate Club and the Grand Visionaries that may help you do just that. Joining me this morning with more is Ezekiel. Good morning, Ezekiel. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, first off, let's just start off a little bit. What exactly is the Cult of Grand Rapids, that, you know, the event itself? Yeah, so what it is, it's a networking event for creatives, entrepreneurs, young professionals, and it's to <clears throat> give people an opportunity to connect and collaborate, you know, one time and uh, per year and celebrate, you know, everything that we did in the past year and our accomplishments and um, and then moving forward, you know. Yeah, tell us, is there like a goal for the event too that you kind of have in mind? Yeah, overall, I mean, I think the goal is just to, you know, spark creativity and innovation by bringing all these different creatives and entrepreneurs uh, together who can learn from each other and, um, ultimately, you know, stimulate uh, the economic development of Grand Rapids in our community. Yeah, and who do you think would be best suited to, to come to an event like this? You know, honestly, for me, it's anybody who's interested in, in building up their network. I, I always say your network is your net worth, um, but this could be for anybody. So it could be for a creative. You know, a lot of creatives are really good at what they do and their tunnel vision on their art, um, but they may need help in uh, finance or marketing or whatnot. So we have all these different people in these different industries and segments. So, or if you're a realtor or somebody, you know, we have a lot of young professionals looking to get into that housing market. So really anyone who's trying to expand their network. Yeah, and what I love looking, we're just looking at some of the pictures right now, it looks to me like a very relaxed event. So why is going to something that's very relaxed or very more casual maybe key to, to meeting more people, you think? Yeah, I think there's a, a stigma to networking and corporate networking and, you know, it, it's what you get out of it. And so what we try to do here is make it more relaxed, make it fun. We have a panel, but we also have a DJ, we have live art, we have music, and try to break some of those barriers where it's a little bit more comfortable and free flowing. As you can see, a lot of people like to dress up and have that excuse, but there is no dress code. Come as yourself and, and um, you know, be, be your own individual and have an opportunity to connect. Yeah, so break the down the event a little bit more. I know you're saying there's some artists, there's some different things going on, so. Yeah. Yeah, so it starts at 7 p.m. You come in, it's open networking for the first hour, then we do our uh, introduction, and then we have panel speakers. Uh, this year focused on uh, the importance of connection and resources available in Grand Rapids. Uh, we have AB on the ones and twos, DJing, we have uh, sponsored cocktail bar by Tito's. We have different sponsorship activations, so these are local creative um, businesses where you can get information from them. We have six live artists, we have uh, magic, we have all different types of things. And then of course you can roam around the museum as well and check out the ex uh, exhibitions. No, oh, that's awesome. And then you also have panelists as well. How do they fit into the whole evening? Yeah, so there is a panel discussion. Uh, it's an hour long and what they are is it's different people, key people from the city um, who have influence in the city or who have businesses in the city. And we basically kind of pick their brain and give information, give a chance for a Q&A to them as well. Um, and then they stay throughout the night so you can connect with them and uh, see how they can you know, help you find resources in Grand yeah, Rapids. Absolutely, and how would you think that this kind of impacts the community, having an event like this? Um, I think it's just good to get everyone together. Um, you know, sometimes in smaller communities, uh, there's a little bit more of the um, competition approach, and I like mm -hmm. to use the word cooperation. I think that we all have something to learn from each other and there's you know there's plenty to go around and so I think that if we can connect and get the right people to connect together uh, we can create new opportunity for each other. Yeah we've only got about 30 seconds left but yeah. can you tell me a little bit about what the long term you know you're kind of looking forward with going with this event? Yeah you know I think long term for Cultivate especially in Grand Rapids is I mean if you look at these events like South by Southwest and um, if you guys see what uh, people like Tad Veely and uh, Michigan House are doing, I, I love that type of, um, I love bringing that type of event to Grand Rapids. So I think this could be something bigger where it's a full weekend and we have different, you know, CEOs from these companies, the steel cases, companies like this, um, and then different segments and breakouts and then end it with a big, you know, uh, yeah. party and networking event. So we're growing. It's our fourth year and uh, yeah. we're, we're on our way. I love it. Well, once again, thank you very much, Ezekiel, for joining us. And we want to get people there. So there you go. It's the fourth annual Cultivate Grand Rapids, April 15th. Grand Rapids Art Museum starts at 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. $65. We're going to have that link on our website so people can click on it and go to it and make sure to get those tickets. Rumor has it, too, there's an after party. Is that correct? Maybe? There, there, there is. It's there at is. a Noop rooftop. Okay. And so your entry into Cultivate gets you into the after party. All right. I absolutely love it. Thanks, Ezekiel. <laughs> and we'll be right back.